have more room but also be protected. We're all with you, Rico. Get down there. for the follow. Gotta make sure these each one of these hits and counts. Where are you, coward? Found you. Come out and die like a man. that I don't want to take a shot because I'll miss it. and I can't really afford to. I've already missed one. Come out and I don't even know if I got enough to shoot him down with this rocket launcher.
then I'll have to plink at him with Stop my cap pistol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he even thought that was funny, did he? Go there. Where are you? All right, now we just got cap pistol time. Where are you, coward? Unless I do this, let's see. Will it let me drop? Will it let me drop the big? Ah, oh, here's the here's one here. Let me try this weapon, and then go up here. Let me get this weapon. Stop fighting! Yeah, I want it right, right. The shield is down, Rico. There. Come out and die like a man, Rodriguez. Wait for the shield to come down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Where are you? <laughs> Hello. Uh -oh. I got the big gun, but I didn't get the one I wanted. You ruined everything. If I can draw him around the rock and get back over there and do it. Stop fighting! The shield is down, Rico! Oh, I got another. Where oh, I got a reload on my... Okay. Maybe it's just a matter of time to get reloaded. I don't know. Where are you, coward? Unless this is the special weapon I picked up. We'll see. Come out and die like a man, Rodriguez. There he is. Oh, the turn for days is over. Shut him up, Rico. Yeah, that's easy for you to say, dude. You're standing up there on the cliffside, and I'm down here getting shot. <laughs> Cheese it though, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, this is it stays up a really long time and it, it doesn't uh, stay down very long at all. Stop fighting! The shield is on, Rico! I'm listening to it. I get it. I got three, five shots, maybe. See, he's got a he's got unlimited ammo. I think I might have got a hit on him that time. Oh, he 
got me. Really? <laughs> well, at least I know my strat works. I just gotta... Get up, buddy. Get up. Get up. The shield is down, Rico. Where are you, coward? She would be in the right position when his shield we went down. She's always behind something. I gotta run to try to get. Get up, get up, get up. Stop hiding! The shield is down, Rico! Yeah, but he's not in a good position for me to see. See, it doesn't stay down for very long. Let me get over here. Come out and die like a man, Rodriguez. See if maybe this gives me a better angle. down again, but... Where are you? Where are you, coward? Now we there go. you are! Ah, he moved on me again. Let me Come do out and die like I'm a man, this thing. Hover long enough for me to. The shield is down, Rico. There you are. Come out and die like a man. I think maybe yes. one or two more hits could do it, but I don't have enough rockets.
Yeah, well, I'm just gonna have to shoot him with Where the are you, M60. Pilot? Hopefully, that's gonna be Stand enough to you. cause damage on it. Now we go! My big boomers. It's not giving me. It's giving me that stupid thing, which I don't want. Let's go up here. Let me get this one. No. Nope. Oh, I don't have a big. Yeah. Okay. And then nothing was happening. Where are you? Now we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the deal. You thing. will not survive. Well, he ain't got anything. He's got like a one hit point left. Oh, did I get him? Oh, I did. I did it. Yay, yeah, team. <laughs> Boy, that was a pretty tough boss fight. I wonder if I get to go over there and beat up on him now. Where is he? You have not destroyed the original rats, yes. I am Sebastian de Ravel. I do not burn, I do not die, I... But I have the high ground, Anakin. By ending my reign, you throw a nation into chaos that is will fall without me. Finally, we should know this. It was your damn self who made all the deals that forced me into power that made you an orphan. Hey Leonardo, how are you today, man? I didn't want to say anything because the story was running. Achievement unlocked, son of Medici. Alright gang, we did it. We got it all the way through the whole playthrough. <laughs> Alright, well... I enjoyed it playing it a lot the only thing I had a lot of trouble with the controls and especially the flying controls I don't know what Just Cause 4 is gonna be like but I hope they make those controls a little bit more user friendly I mean I'm sure there's probably players out there that you know are just fine with those controls and don't have any trouble with them but man I had a lot of trouble with the flying and you can see it if you go back through and watch my playthrough. You can see where I had trouble with the flying. You know, like planes and jets. The helicopters I can do fine. And I don't understand why 
they don't make the planes and the jets with the same controls like the helicopters. It, it, just, it doesn't make any sense why you would change all that around. Like with the helicopter, you can move your mouse and the helicopter will move the way the mouse goes. With the plane, you move the mouse and it gives you another perspective on the, on the plane or the jet. It would get distract. You would get distracted also. Well, it's possible. It's very possible. Um, but it. But that. That's the main complaint I had. I had a lot of trouble with the, the controls on the flying the jets and the planes, and then with the wingsuit, I didn't have a whole too much trouble with that once I got used to how to use it. But. Uh, where I had the difficulty was with when you were shooting because there again that uh, reticle didn't really control didn't follow uh, him very well a lot of times he would be facing in one direction and the reticle would be way out here off to the right or to the left or something and it would be better if it stayed you know right in right in front of him so when you moved him the the target to move with him but you know, other than that, I mean, I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to Just Cause 4 and, and seeing how that's going to work. Um, you know, I, I never had played these Square Enix games before, so. But I even had a lot of trouble with the plane controls in Far Cry 5. I could fly the helicopters fine, but when it comes to the planes or the jets, I just can't do it. And I kind of went through it, and when I real, when I first started my playthrough, I was just going to casually play through, and not, and not really, uh, you know, rush the storyline very much. But then one day I saw a video where they were talking about the release of Just Cause 4 being on December the 4th. So I said, oh, <laughs> I better, better finish at least the story before I, before Just Cause 4 comes out. But I think it's appropriate. We wrapped it up on Turkey Day. We had we had our own Turkey Day classic with Rico versus the evil dictator. It worked out pretty good. We got to blow up a big base to get to him. And uh, the only sad thing was we I hated to see Dima die. I wish there had been another way we could have resolved that with maybe uh, Rico rescuing her out of there. But she tricked him and matched his his. Uh, wingsuit control so from what I understand from the trailers and the and the previews the pre pre play uh, videos I've seen on just cause 4 uh, they've added a lot new uh, stuff to the uh, grappling hook like where you can uh, have balloons and explosives and and uh, They've got a bunch of new weapons. You can drive just about, and of course you can drive and fly all the vehicles again. And, and I think they've got a lot of different new weapons to use. And then of course they've introduced this element where uh, the weather system, they're gonna have hurricanes because that black hand that Rico had a few run-ins here in, in Just Cause 3, they're gonna be, in Just Cause 4, they're gonna be the main bad guys and they've developed some technique where they can control the weather so they got the tornadoes and if you've seen the trailers for it you can, you'll see where um, you'll see the tornadoes in the background and stuff um, and then from what i understand too rico's not going to be completely by himself he's going to have a rebel army that he can um, or at least they'll be you know on the field with him i don't know whether or not you know how much they're going to actually be taking the heat off of him because <laughs> he had rebels in this one and they didn't really take the heat off of him very much so 
I'm looking forward to it. I, I really enjoyed it. Overall, I enjoyed the game despite some of my frustrations with the controls. But with me being an older gamer, I, I just it's just kind of hard for me to uh, work these controls. <laughs> You know, if it's not something simple like right and left mouse and, and maybe, you know, A, W, and D or S, W, and D or something like that, then <laughs> I have trouble. But yeah, happy Thanksgiving to you too, Leonardo. Thank you for coming by, man. I appreciate your support and I appreciate you hanging out and watching me play today. I'm going to wait and see at the end if I can't go back in the open world or not. I'm not sure if it'll let me do that, but... The, the, they, the game deserves to have its credits run and, and people put in a lot of work and effort into this game and I know they're they're pleased with it and they should be it, it's a fun game Avalanche Studios they're going to be in with that group that I'm waiting on that Rage 2 Avalanche Studios and, and ID or ID they, they combine together to make Rage 2 and that's another one I'm looking for Okay, so the sandbox mode was unlocked. So I could continue playing if I wanted to. Let's see what this says. The Ministry of Illumination and Stability would like to address some rumors that have been floating around about the death of our beloved general. The government's official stance is that if there is no body, there is no problem. <laughs> General Di Ravello must be taking some much-deserved me-time. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Viva la general. If there is a general. <laughs> the voice actor for that uh, that narrator sounded a lot like David Tennant to me, the, the guy that played the tenth Doctor Who. I need to do some research on that and see if that's not the case, but 